Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Twilio widget. This is a really useful widget to verify phone numbers. That way, you are not receiving fake or spammy phone numbers. This is a great feature so you can verify the phone number so you can later on contact these users and you're sure that the number actually works. So, let me show you how this is set up right now. All right, this is our Jot form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form so you know how to get started from zero. So let's go into create a form. We're gonna start from scratch. And in this case, we're gonna select classic form, but you can also use card form. Okay, and this will open up our Jot form builder. Now let's drag in some basic elements and then the widget. So let's add the name, the email. And in this case, we're going to go into widgets. We're gonna search for Twilio. Here it is, SMS confirmation for Twilio. Let's drag it in here. And now comes the setup part. So what we're going to need to connect to our Twilio account is we're gonna need the SID, the token, and the Twilio number that we have on our dashboard. So let's head on over to our Twilio account. Okay, this is my Twilio dashboard and let's go ahead and grab the information that we need. So first we need the account SID. So let's go ahead and copy this, go back to Jot form. Let's go ahead and paste it. Now we need the, the Twilio auth token. So let's grab it from here. Here it is, auth token. Let's go ahead and copy it back to job form. Let's paste it. And now we need our Twilio number. Let's go add our Twilio number right here. Let's copy it. And let's go ahead and add it. And now we need to set up our daily limits if you want to set them up. For example, we could say 100 daily limit just in case um, they do too many, okay? Uh, delay per SMS. So we'll give them the minimum 30 seconds, which is the minimum. If you leave it blank, it's gonna go by default 180 seconds. Default country, this is useful if you have, if you're using your form for a different country, well, you wanna set up a another default one. For example, you're viewing the preview right here where there's a USA flag because that's the default country, United States. And if most of your users are going to be from United States, well, it's really useful to have it as the default one. If you're using this in another country, well, you can select it and that'll change the default country so they don't have to scroll through this, all the countries and choose the one they are in, okay? The SMS template, what is it going to say for the confirmation code? So in this case, there's already this message, but we can modify it if we like. The confirmation button, if we want to change it, and the custom error message, if we also want to modify that. Okay, let's update the widget and let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go into publish open in a new form. Okay, I'm gonna add my name, my last name, the email, for example, test at test.com. And if I try to send this submission, it won't go through because we have it as a required field. Our truly verification system needs to be filled out. So it continues. Let me go ahead and submit it. And I can't do it. So now let's add a phone number. So we add a confirmation code. So in this case, I'll add this test phone number. Let's go ahead and confirm. And now we're going to receive our SMS on our phone. There we go. We just received it. And let's go ahead and add the enter code. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm. Now it's been verified. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. Now we have submitted successfully and we have a real phone number that we could actually send someone an SMS or call them because we know that this phone number was verified. It's not a fake number, it's not a spam phone number. So this one is verified. Really useful feature that Twilio has right here. So that is how you're going to integrate JotForm with Twilio to verify phone numbers. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.